name is Annette Bolivik and I'm the main historian behind Discovered Lights of Peeling Back History. And uh, today we're back on location uh, in North Canterbury. This is Lotnell Beach, the location of North Canterbury's first ever sheep farm. And I swear I can't get into that story without uh, sharing about the first farmers that were here, the Greenwood Brothers, and that was James, Joseph and Edward. But they actually first arrived in New Zealand in Wellington and their neighbour actually ended up being William Deans that we know from Rickerton. And uh, through Williams coming down here to look for land, because Wellington wasn't exactly what they were all hoping it would be, the Greenwood brothers heard about how wonderful it was down here in Canterbury. And that's how they ended up being down here on the South Island, thanks to William Deans as well. But the brothers um, liked Purell on in Littleton Harbour, and that's where they first settled uh, in, the, in late 1843. And, um, and they absolutely loved it there. They're from Yorkshire, they were quite used to being isolated and being in a remote place, and they just thought it was absolutely paradise, and, and they were having a very lovely time of it. And, um, but unfortunately, in uh, 1846, their dreams were smashed when they became the victims of Canterbury's first ever robbery. And uh, Edward was the only brother that was home, and he was, uh, it was, they had actually hired the gang that ended up robbing them, the Blue Cap Gang, but Greenwoods had actually hired them to do a bit of work, which was quite common in those days, that if a, a, a swagger goes past your place and they're looking for work, there's always something to do, and then they move on, that was quite a common place, so the Greenwoods certainly thought nothing of it. Not only did they sort of give them work, but they told them of every other farm that was in Canterbury, including the Deans's that were at uh, Rickerton or Pararingamutu on the Canterbury Plains. And about after the third day of that robbery took place, and poor Edward, he was um, the only brother that was home. The other two that were um, being robbed as well, that were working for the Greenwoods, were two other very historic names. One was William Preble, who eventually owned land in Prebleton, and the other one was w William Burling, of course, who is remembered in the name of Burling's flat. So quite a historic bunch of people got robbed that night by the Boo Clap Cap Gang. And unfortunately, the brothers never felt safe there again. So they began to search around uh, for somewhere else to live, and this is the beautiful uh, place they chose to live, the mouth of the Mocknow River, and um, their, farm, their farm had the same name, and um, they, were, they were settled down here as well. They were known to be very level-headed and uh, very, very nice guys, but famously they didn't get on with the local Māori or their servants, so apparently very stubborn and uh, could be very difficult to, uh, to work with. Now, unfortunately, uh, the Greenwoods weren't to have a happy ending. All three brothers were actually uh, passed away by 1851. If you go to Purell and you come here to Mott now, there's nothing that refers to the Greenwoods, I think, because they were sort of gone before uh, before our first settlers, um, such as settlers, really settled in. And uh, so what actually happened was, um, it was Joseph, Apparently the easiest way to get from what now um, to Canterbury or to Lake Peninsula where most of the settlement was in those days was by boat and uh, Joseph had gone to Port Levy, uh, probably do a bit of trading on, on some goods and on the way back um, up to what now the boat actually um, floundered and they actually um, drowned. Um, no one actually knew what happened for quite a few weeks but finally the, the uh, bits of wood and the cargo washed up at Kaikoura and uh, the fate of Joseph Greenwood was finally known. Um, the older brother James had actually gone over to Australia to purchase some stock for Mott now and uh, no one ever heard from him again. As he had gone over with quite a big lump of, of money, uh, it was just uh, people just presumed that he was robbed and murdered. And so Edward, with his heart absolutely broken, he returned to England and he died of a very short illness by 1851. And that was literally the history of the Greenwoods uh, here in Canterbury. So a very quick and a bit of a tragic story really when you get down to it. I wanted to touch on um, on the next owner of uh, Motnell was actually John Scott Carverhill. When you come into Motnell Beach, there is a Carverhill Road acknowledging his time here. And he's an interesting character because he, again, he was a pre-Adamite. He actually arrived here before the Kennedy Association settlers did. And uh, he knew these other pre-Adamite settlers very, very well. And uh, he was a bit of a wanderer and he just took his, took his hand to anything. And that included farming as well. And he came. He took over the lease here from Edward Greenwood, and uh, and he he uh, actually kept quite an interesting record. And he, when he came here, there were I, I can't remember the exact number of sheep because the numbers would just go. But every uh, horse, uh, sheep, cow, um, all had individual names, and we're talking hundreds of animals here. 
and all their markings too were written down in the description so Kapihu make a note of that, how unbelievable that was as well. Now he actually uh, ended up marrying a lady called Frances King and the King family actually arrived uh, in Canterbury aboard the Cressy which of course was our fourth ship. And she is actually quite famous in our history as um, her diary was uh, reproduced quite a few times and she kept a wonderful record of um, the coming and, and goings of Canterbury as well and that was um, she married um, the Carville family there. So here we are at Mott now and um, basically today it's just a wee holiday home area, a lot of wee little batches along the waterside here and a few bigger houses up on the hill so people can retire here. But another wee thing that uh, was famous for is Mott now Island and uh, you may have spotted that at the beginning of the film and Chris is going to go over to it now. And uh, that's actually a protected island, it's actually little uh, penguins breed there on the colony uh, a lot of other birds call it home and it is also the home to the three very uh, individual lizards as well. You can't go, can't go over there without uh, permission and the people that live here permanently take turns at going over as, as rangers and, and making sure that place is protected. So that's the story of, of Mott now, beautiful spot up in North Canterbury, absolutely gorgeous. I don't know whether you can spot the birds um, up in the trees there, but a lovely place to visit, worth the drive out as well. So I hope you've enjoyed this wee information about the Greenwoods. We'll see you on the next location. Have a lovely day.